guys, welcome back. 1v1 ladder, and uh, we've got Dilma on the Japanese team versus Nat Nat on the Soviet Union team. And I think this is actually, um, this is their third match, essentially in a row. Uh, Dilma actually challenged Nat Nat, won their first two matches, from my recollection, I could be wrong. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that happened. And then I think Nat Nat went ahead and challenged him back. So technically, Nat Nat is the challenger. And this is the first game here. Looks like Nat Nat went with red guards. Oh wow, look at Dilma already up here. Oh my god, where is this guy going? What is that? Ah, oh, wow, he went with the uh, <coughs> dynamite approach. Oh, this is catching on with a lot of people, isn't it? Uh, Dilma's from, uh, I believe, South Korea. Um, I've played with him one time before, but I've never played 1v1 with him. Uh, wow, look at this. Wow, he already is over on this side. Wow, he must have sent two guys down this way. And they're the SNFL with the crappy rifles. And uh, this one took one to the face. Somehow he's still alive. And they are one-shotting guys pretty nicely. But looks like uh, Nat Nat has uh, gone down to the river. That was good for him. Dilma, uh, once again on this side, um, has taken the western flag. And, of course, Nat Nat's taking the eastern flag there. So, pretty standard start here. Ooh, wow. Is that going to get him? Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like in the water. There's just like no explosion there. It's kind of funny how that works. Looks like the flow, though, for Dilma is right on par. Wow. He, uh, with the cheaper units, with the, uh, yeah, the, the 130 elite marksman. Oh, I'm actually watching Soviet Union. So, unfortunately, I don't know what the, uh, the elite marksman on the, uh, <clears throat> On Japanese, as I'm pretty sure it's, it's definitely cheaper. I want to say it's maybe in the 110, 110, 110, 120 range. Uh, but it allowed him to get this assault squad so much sooner than Nat Nat's assault squad. Wow, and he's got all this cover. He just pushed them all the way to the middle, all the way up to the cover. And look at this micro. He's just already going, spreading them out. Oh, Nat Nat is in a world of hurt now. Um. Interesting. I'm not sure what he's going to do here. I may even I consider go even going to BA64 rush on this. Pop that down here. But anyways, let's see what he does here. These guys are ready to die, though. One guy dies. Oh, look at this. He's got another assault squad. He won a second assault squad. Wow, what is Nat Nat waiting for here? He is just going to get overrun here. Grenade to finish that off. Start capping this point. Look at this. He's got guys everywhere. It's just, just a swarm if I've ever seen one. I don't think I've ever seen this much. This I've never seen a three cap on shell. Uh, this high tier of gameplay. Uh, three minutes in. So looks like he's banked for the T60. Ah, interesting. Wow, look at this. He got a sneaky guy here already. Oh, we got him. Wow. Now, I bet you there is some ping latency. I assume this is the first match, so I assume Dilma would be hosting, I think. Uh, I don't know for sure, but uh, I'm sure that there is. I don't know if they had a middle host, actually, to be honest with you. Um, so, unfortunately, I don't know what the latency looks like, but uh, like I said, one is from South Korea, and to my knowledge, South Korea really doesn't ping well to really anyone. So I'm sure one of them has a, a ping disadvantage. Uh, just going on, on what I'm seeing, I would I'd assume that Dilma may be the host or at least have a better ping. I could be wrong, though. I like the fact he's got guys everywhere, though. Nice flame reaction. Unfortunately, it doesn't do enough damage, though. He's completely given up over here. And, uh... Wow, Dilma's even reinforced down here. Interesting. I like that play. Even though, obviously, he doesn't know it, but he does not need it right now. Those guys are really needed over at this point to keep the pressure on. Surprised I haven't seen a Hago come with that, uh, with, uh, <clears throat> that T60 going down. Uh, I'm sure, uh, Dilma right now can pretty much afford anything he really wants right now. Oh, wow, he is just racking that up. Look at that grenade work over here. 
wonder if he snuck behind this. Wow, these Type 100s are just going to town right now. What in the world? These things are just eating these troops alive. Look at the kill feed. I mean, the PPSH, even with its bigger magazine round, is just getting ate up by these guys. I mean, that is one SMG versus one SMG at approximately... I don't know, maybe 30 range? And this SMG just destroyed that SMG. Oh, interesting. 34-1, this is becoming a wipe. And it's really interesting to see Dilma play, because I haven't seen him you know, obviously play on a 1v1 before. He's actually shot up the leaderboards. Uh, Pretty instantaneously. I mean, <laughs> I think he's. I think he's undefeated, if I'm not mistaken. I think he's, you know, six zero, seven zero, eight zero, somewhere in that range. Uh, so he's played a decent number of games, and uh, yeah, guys, I think this is a force to be reckoned with here. I'm curious to know about the pings, though, because in this game, unfortunately, uh, let's be honest, guys. Even uh, on these these wider maps, my you know macro maps, uh, you know ping really does make a big difference. Wow, he does. I can tell he's he's shooting the right units though when they need to get shot. Oh wow, that's the home get, homeland fury right there, and that just spells doom. What is? I just don't know what. Not that is waiting for. He needs something bad. Wow, I don't know, man. He's gone straight infantry, but wow, it looks like he has, he's got the charge out, so that's why he's got so much infantry. But he could afford it. I mean, he could really have. Oh, he did buy something. What did he buy here? Just more infantry? Oh, no, he needs an infantry killer. He's getting ate up by these SMGs. Mm, I don't know. And the Homeland Fury is going to roll in here. What in the world? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. That's weird. Oh, you know what I think happened, guys? I think the dead um, flamethrower Soviet Union guy was there. And actually got shot blowing up the, the tank and actually killing a lot of Dilma's troops. So <laughs> even once he's dead, he actually did some uh, did some nice work there. Wow, he can afford a 57 right now? I, I just don't know why he's not buying anything. Maybe he's just stunned at the at the amount of pressure that he's getting here. At the same time, maybe, you know, they're just kind of... One of them doesn't want to buy one unit to get it countered by another unit. But at the same time, I mean, I think you need to make up your mind. You need to go something cheap for infantry killer. Maybe, uh, like I said, uh, half-track BA-64. Or go something big like a tank, hold one point, and uh, you know, steady out or something. Interesting. But uh, these guys are uh, some of the top players, so I'll let them figure that one out there. Looks like Natna has moved in with a shock infantry. Really well done there. Go ahead and decap this. Uh, very nice play to him. Uh, but looks like assault squad, a full assault squad, is coming down to uh, <laughs> take back the F point. Nine minutes in, 58 to 1. Uh, what, two grenades down there, three grenades. Huh, man, they did absolutely no damage. But the nice thing is, he can just sit on this bridge, in a sense. Where, oh, yeah, I can. Either that's the grenade flick that's happening to some players, or he's in, he's in, he's in a bad ping state, I'm not sure. I'd assume he's the ping disadvantage with him being technically the challenger in this third game, which is really the first game of a second set of matches. With Dilma choosing this map, and then Nat Nat choosing, uh, or sorry, I think I said that backwards. Well, anyways, I think Nat Nat's 
probably got, yeah, that's what happened. That Nat got, um, oh shit, guys, I don't even know. I don't know. T60 out. Let's see what the counter is. Chiha 47, huh, interesting. It will counter that T60, but that's a really interesting buy, though. Really surprised he'd buy that. I wouldn't buy a chi he Interesting. Why? Well, I, I don't think he needs to be that scared of it. He can easily hit these guys. But we may get hit through these windows, though. Nope. Here comes the 57. Wow, I, I would assume that uh, Dilma would be able to afford a lot more than that Chiha 47. That's really interesting there. I wonder if he's banking for something else. But it's kind of weird to bank and then also spend on a Chiha. So it looks like the 57's out, and that spells doom for that. Uh, what the hell? Oh, wow, there's an SMG. He just went right through the building, it looks like. Huh. That's crucial taking out that T60. Wow, that's crucial. 57's nice and all, but it's just not going to do anything without that uh, not that T60 there. That's a really nice play right there. Huh, <laughs> a little standoff here. What the hell? What? What? <laughs> Oh, that was weird. So it's like it charges out again. Ooh, he got the 75. Oh, wow, he's backing it in. I like that. Ooh, oh, God. I always get nervous when that happens, and I'm always nervous I'm going to run into my own unit. So it looks like the 75 mils out. Well, that's going to be... Ooh, he's going to get a shot. Oh, he just missed. Oh. Oh! Ah, some risky play right there. That's really risky. Looks like Nanat's pushing on here. I'd like to see him get down maybe in the river though. Tight Many 2's gonna come roll through here and uh, possibly clean up this inventory right now. Since Nanat's got nothing on his end. Uh oh. <laughs> it's just a, just a Molotov. Did not set it on fire, I don't think. Oh no, it did burn the engine. Did burn the engine. Yep, it's done. Nice. Very well done, Nanat. Very well done. So he did get that out of the play here. Wow, he's got all the infantry here. Maybe, uh, I think maybe, uh, I'm gonna move them around a little bit. I why got a tank crew. I don't know where that tank crew's going. Oh, wow, he can get in there, just storm that, and he can get in there and storm it. Is he gonna storm it? Oh, he just needs more. Oh wow, all those guys are dying. Ooh, they're getting flanked. Wow, nice flank right here. Looks like maybe uh, parts of an assault squad and parts of that other Homeland Fury uh, that he had there before. I wonder what uh, Nat Nat's gonna do. Maybe he's gonna preempt a strike on this flag here, this flag. It's really not defended very well. It's got two, four. It's got five guys, so it's it's got a few guys there. But I think he could definitely could take it though. I mean, it's got guys in the back. I mean, with this squad plus these five guys, he could definitely take that flag. <laughs> Granted, as I say that, he's only got five or six guys on this flag though too. So 
At 75, you may want to play on the sides. I'm not sure he's going to really be able to deal in the middle. Oh my god, they just got... Oh, where did they die? They just got mowed down somewhere. Uh, I don't know where they died. Huh, interesting. But they got mowed down running into that uh, Western flag. Type 100 SMG just mowed them. Uh-oh. Where's that mortar going? Holy shit, that's aggressive. <laughs> Where is that mortar going? That mortar is really aggressive. Holy shit, it's going to be right here. Oh god, that's going to be deadly. <laughs> there goes the tractor. I didn't kill anybody, but there goes the tractor. Oh, this is a nice glob right here. Oh, yep. There goes half of it. Can he get the other half on the second shot? Ow, oh, the rock saved him. Another T60 by Nat Nat. Probably wouldn't go in this area here. Uh, remember that 75 mils in the same exact place. One thing you, you learn in this game is you really want to bring units really to the same spot where you uh, where you have another tank that got blown, got blown up, for example. Oh, I possibly can decrew that. Nice, he did decrew. Ooh, it was engine damage, though. Oh, wow, the 75 can hit it from here. Oh, it's just missing. One more shot, maybe? No? No shot. Nice double repair here. I like that. The only problem with the double repair is there's no one in the... No one in... Oof. Nat Nat's in a world of hurt right now. I'm not sure what he's going to do here. He's got about 340 MP. Once that mortar gets back up, though... Ooh, the gun is damaged, though. Uh, is the gun damaged? Yeah, it's damaged. You can see how it's crooked it is. It's definitely damaged. I just going to go ahead and repair that. Hmm. You got to figure out how to make that 75 mil move. And also get that mortar down. He has, he has capped the middle, though. I did not notice that. Great job, though. Here's your time to kind of... Kind of see what you can do. Maybe even bring the T60 down this way. That would have been that would have been interesting. Ooh, wow, that mortar's back up already. That didn't take long. Seventy. What is it? Seventy. Seventy-eight two. Eighteen minutes in here. Looks like Nat Nat's got the charge again. I think that's his third charge by. Oh God. Oh God. Oh god. Oh, it's fired it over here. I thought it was going to fire it right here. And I want to see this entire charge unit go down in one shell. Here it comes. Oh, he just moved his... Oh! oh I... Did I not call that? Did I not... 20 guys, and there's only 5 left. 15. One shell. Charge is only good if you're able to... Uh, to micro them around, and I'm thinking, uh, thinking there may be a ping challenge here. I, I don't know though, because I not Nat typically moves his units around pretty well. Um, so it looks like he's gonna go T60 on the left. That's what I thought. You gotta get these these units, these these stagnant units, to move. This unit's hard to move. This unit's hard to move, especially without the Type 92. I mean, they can purchase those, but it's extra buys. Problem he's gonna have now is is that Chiha is back up. He didn't kill that, and uh, what they'll end up doing is probably swapping flags, maybe. God, that Type 100, Jesus! Just moved out three guys right there. Uh oh, uh oh, 
Uh oh. Oh, just missed. It's got these guys spread out pretty nicely right around buildings, so you really can't just run in there. Uh, yeah. Done a really good job with that. Looks like on this point, uh, like I say, they're going to attack this point here at Chiha 47. Surprise, Nat Nat doesn't have anything over here, even a 76. Um, even, I don't know, something. Surprise, he doesn't have anything over here. And he bought the 76, but I don't know, I'm just a little too late though, unfortunately. So they're just going to swap flags here, really. Chiha could run away there. Oh, wow. Is that thing shooting all the way over here? It is. Here comes that Chiha 47. That T60 can take this Chiha 47. Assuming it gets close enough. Oh, nice play. It's not, but it is side turn to this T3476. So what Nat Nat needs to do is he needs to just get this point back. Where is he going with the 76? Uh oh. Uh oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Whew. Don't you love when the, the 150 millimeter mortar, uh, what the heck? How did this go down? Wow, I think that's going to be game, guys. This flag's getting decapped. And Nat Nat just doesn't really have anything over here. This flag's still capped. That mortar's just gonna pound away, and I mean, just, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Try getting that hole. That's all I gotta say. Or that hole. Not that one. Now that one's a hole. That one should be a hole. No? No hole? Okay. Well, like I said, get in that hole and pray. <laughs> Maybe drop a crew member out? No, you have one extra. Or two extra. Shock inventory, I don't know, something. Looks like that's game, guys. Wow, well done to Dilma. Uh, looks like Dilma takes the uh, first game in their back-to-back uh, -back challenge matches. Um, uh, once again, guys, check out the links uh, in the description. Uh, 1v1 ladder. If you're not signed up, you're missing out.